from Peninsula TV Studios in San Carlos, SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, Wells Fargo, and Oracle present this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you so much. Welcome to Quiz Kids, the show where representatives from over 40 Bay Area high schools compete in a test of knowledge that gives them the opportunity to win trips or $1,000 in cash or a host of all kinds of wonderful prizes. We have two tremendous teams here today. From Lafayette over here, we have the Bentley Phoenixes. Yeah. And from Burlingame, we have the Burlingame High School Panthers. I think we have a terrific match for you today, so let's get started with the collaboration round. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Quiz Kids. In this first round, you will play as a team. I have a series of 10-point questions which I will ask you. I will give your team 10 seconds to collaborate, and then I will ask Edward or Eric, your captain, to give me the correct answer and score 10 points. If you give me the incorrect answer, however, I will let the other team collaborate for a few seconds and possibly steal those points away from you. We'll ask the questions back and forth until the buzzer signals the end of the first round, okay? Good luck to both teams. Bentley, you get the first question. The volcano, the volcano. Olympus Mons is 75,000 feet high, more than twice the height of Mount Everest, and is located on what nearby planet? Mars. Mars. That's right, Mars. <laughs> Did you know that Martians pronounce it volcano? <laughs> First question to the Panthers. The epic poem on nature holds that the universe is made of earth, air, fire, and what? Water. That's right, water. <laughs> Your next question, calculate the quantity x plus 3y squared. Yeah, that's like this. x squared plus 6y plus, wait, x squared plus 6xy plus 9y. Kind of fur. Just x feed it to him. X squared, X squared plus 6XY plus 6XY plus 9Y squared plus 9Y squared. That's right, Edward! <laughs> <laughs> Edward the math major. Okay, burly game. A Bleistift in German, a crayon in French, and a lapis in Spanish. What is it in English? Pencil. That is right! <laughs> Okay, my favorite characters in all of Greek mythology. Name the set of three sisters with snakes for hair who turned people into stone. The Gorgons. The Gorgons. The Gorgons is right. <laughs> Carl Rossman is the naive protagonist of the novel America, written by what 20th century author of The Penal Colony and Metamorphosis? Kafka? Franz Kafka is correct. <laughs> In hindsight, it was a military disaster for North Vietnam that eliminated the Viet Cong as a serious military force. However, its initial success led journalist Walter Cronkite to declare the Vietnam War a stalemate. Name this 1968 attack that coincided with the Vietnamese New Year. Tet Offensive. Tet Isn't that the Tet Offensive? The Tet Offensive is correct. Ten points. <laughs> In Cartesian space, if the bottom left corner of a square is the point 5, 3, and the top right corner is 11, 7, what point is at the lower right corner? 11, 3. You got it, 11, 3. <laughs> this small kingdom relies on Switzerland for military protection and is ruled by Hans Adam. What country is made up of 11 towns, the largest being the capital, Vaduz? Well, that's Liechtenstein, but it's a principality. But Liechtenstein? You're right, it is a principality. Liechtenstein is correct. <laughs> the Acme Question Company stands corrected. In the computer language acronym HTTP, what one word do the letters H and T stand for? 
hypertext. That's right, yeah. for 10 points. Okay, the famous Lone Ranger theme song was written by Rossini for what opera about a man who shoots an apple off his son's head? William, William Tell. William Tell. That's right, William Tell. <laughs> Name the long straw-like device used in chemistry lab to move liquids from one container to another. Pipette. Pipette. You got it for 10 points. <laughs> I told you we have two strong teams and we have a tie score, 60 all. Yeah. That is the way I like to start the game and we will meet these very bright young players after these messages, so don't go away. back with an enthralling crowd here and all of them love being in the studio. You could be in the studio with us someday if you will call 650-637-1936. We will send you tickets to a live studio taping of Quiz Kids, so come on down. Bentley Phoenixes, Lafayette, Edward Hess, yes. Sr. Edward, you're a classics kind of guy. You want to go and study the classics after high school. And so you have taken four years of Latin. And you told me that was one of the reasons you came to Bentley, so you could take part in their great Latin program. Right, my public high school didn't have the Latin program. OK. And you are a part of a wonderful organization outside of school. Tell us about that. Um, I'm, I'm on the executive board of the California Junior Classical League, which okay. is the organization for all of high school Latin in California. And you just recently had a Northern California mini conference. Did you host it at, at Bentley? Right. We had about 450 delegates show up. And what do you do at these mini conferences? Oh, we can spear people with fake plexiglass spears and take tests. And why does it always come down to violence? <laughs> I mean, well, they work for the Romans. That's why I was just thinking. The Romans were a nasty people, and yet something as beautiful as Latin and language. Much of our language comes out of that. Now, this is all a, a, a starter for the big full state conference that will be coming up next year. Right, that's in the lovely city of Irvine. In Irvine. Well, there is some lovely stuff in Irvine, and there will be wonderful students taking part in a full Latin conference there, so good luck to that. Thanks. Emily Saccharin also a senior, and um, you're tired of living in Lafayette, you said. I am. I've been living here for almost my whole life, and mm -hmm. I'm really more of a big city person. More so. of a big city person, and you want to go far away to one of the exciting big cities, like New York, Chicago. I do. You want to yes. study there. What do you want to study? I'm thinking international relations, maybe. That's very interesting. Now, you take part in a really interesting program um, off, off the internet. What is that? Right. It's called Books for Soldiers, and basically what I do through that is I send letters and packages to soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan and do that with my family. And you said that some of these uh, young soldiers have been writing back to you to right. establish some correspondence. Yeah. So you must get some interesting insights from them as to their feelings and all that. That must be fascinating. I do. It is. And a wonderful opportunity for them to receive mail from Americans, which they probably love getting. Brett Hallahan, mm. you're just a junior. Yeah. Yeah. But you're an Eagle Scout. Almost. And almost an Eagle Scout. When last summer you completed your Eagle Scout project, which sounded really interesting. Tell us about it. Well, there's a, a, an elementary school near where I live, and yeah. it had a big soccer field right next to the, right next to the school, and it's, it's next to the freeway. So there's a gigantic retaining wall uh, between the two. So I as, as an Eagle Scout project, I got some paint and with a bunch of kids painted pictures of soccer goals onto that wall for soccer players to practice against when there aren't any goals open. But you became more than utilitarian, you became creative and artistic with this. What else did you do? Um, well, first uh, we got a whole bunch of blue paint and painted uh, gigantic blue squares on them as, mm -hmm. as a background. and then. Got a whole bunch of kids together, and uh, we p then after that we painted the frames and the strings, and we got uh, an artist who uh, li who's a friend of ours to come and paint little detailed goalies in front of that that look like they're in the process of uh, stealing a goal. To inspire the little goalies on the field. Exactly. Well, I'm sure the young people will enjoy that for years to come. Good for you, Brett. Good luck with everything. And let's give a big hand to your coach, who is the Latin teacher at Bentley, Heather Lutwick. <laughs> It's Eric Shawin, right? Shawin. Shawin. Eric, a senior. And Eric, you started out when you came to Berlin Game playing football. That's right. And then you made a switch. 
Yeah, and during my sophomore year, I broke my thumb, and uh, I'd always been involved in track in the spring, so I uh, took up cross country as my fall sport. Okay, and it's slowly you decided you'd rather play, do cross country in the fall, um, and you condition yourself for soccer in the winter. That's right. But you've been, you guys have been playing really well. You guys qualify for CCS. Yeah, didn't we've you? had a really successful season so far. It's the first time in history that our boys team and our girls team have a chance to qualify for the state championships. And so we're really looking forward to well, hopefully doing that. Well, good luck with that. That is Thanks. wonderful. Dina Schender, yes. you are a junior, having one of those typical hard junior years. Lots of AP and honors courses, and um, and to kind of cool off from all of that you like to read yeah uh, would you like to read classics which I think is really great I, swashbuckler novels what are some of your favorite books um, well I really liked the three Musketeers. I really liked the Prince and the Pauper have you ever thought of sword fighting yourself getting involved in no no so you, you escape into fiction with that right but this is what's so great about reading we can do those dangerous things from the comfort of our own home with a big thick book in front of us exactly well good good keep doing that Andrew Lundstrom hi hi Andrew Andrew you got great hair Thanks. great curly red hair and you're a senior and you're in the marching band at Burlingame I am you play the sousaphone what is a yeah. sousaphone it's like a French horn a sousaphone is a instrument that plays exactly like a tuba like that a tuba. wraps around you so you can march okay yeah. and then when you are in regular band you play the actual tuba yes you were in the what what you were uh, like in the in concert band in your district mm -hmm. in uh, honors band yes that's great um, and you are the managing editor of the Burlingame Bee that as well. Do you get to write much or do you just delegate to other people? I delegate a lot. I'm starting to write more good. Um, whenever they need me to fill some space. I'll do that for them. Well, good luck with all those activities. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Mr. Tom Willard. <laughs> Mr. Willard is looking very cool in those shades. I'm sure he's just trying to compete with the coolest man in the room, our judge, Mr. Frank Sabote. Yeah. You can see we have six incredible high schoolers here. Let's see what happens when they come back and play the lightning round. Don't go away. <laughs> 60 points over here, 60 points over here. Let's play the lightning round. Hands on your buzzers, folks. I'm going to ask a series of 10-point questions, and the first person to buzz in gets to answer for their team. Give me the right answer, you get the points. 10 points for your team. Give me the wrong answer, the other team gets to collaborate, possibly steal those points away if your captain gives me the right answer. But if you buzz in before I complete the question, you will have to answer with the information you have been given so far. And if you give me the wrong answer, I will complete the question for the other team. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first question. Spring time for... Yes, Brett. The producers. That's right. <laughs> a former racetrack dog. What is the name of the family dog? Yes, Brett. Santa's little helper. That's Mr. Popular Culture over there, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Gathered Together in My Name is a poetry collection by what African-American poet who read at Bill Clinton's first... Yes, Brett. Maya Angelou. You are right. What Venezuelan-born military man is called the George Washington of South America? Yes, Andrew. Simon Bolivar. That is correct. What quantity is constant in an isothermal system? Dina. Pressure. No, I'm sorry, that is not right. You can steal. Let's say heat. Okay, sure. Heat? That's right. <laughs> what African-American author's jazz writings were published during 2001, nearly 50 years after his novel, Invisible Man? Andrew. Ralph Ellison. That is right. In 1935, University of Chicago star Jay Berwanger became the first football player ever to receive what trophy given annually to the nation's best... Yes, Edward. The Heisman. That's right. Barrel, prickly pear, choya, and... So yes, Andrew. Types of cacti. That's correct. Following a major earthquake, he rebuilt the famous ha Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. Name this Byzantine emperor most famous for establishing a body of civil law. Edward? Justinian? You're right. Much of the Ridley Scott movie Black Hawk Down was filmed in this country, whose major cities are Rabat, Casablanca, 
Emily. Morocco. Yes. In 2004, the FDA approved a new pain medicine called Paladone that, like morphine and codeine, is made from what substance? The subject of wars, yes, Brett. Opium. You are right. In the 1950s, Adlai Stevenson ran for president of the United States twice and lost. But yes, Eric. Eisenhower. You are correct. Every time Hercules cut off one of its heads, it grew, yes, Brett. Hydra. Right. The Sherman Act and Clayton Act were intended to combat what? Edward? Trust. That's correct. The DPT vaccine is designed to immunize against diphtheria, pertussis, and what disease caused by bacteria whose symptoms include lockjaw? Edward. Tuberculosis? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Polio? Tetanus. DPT. When beginning letters to a friend with a salutation, dear, you normally put a comma. Eric? No answer. Don't know. You normally put a comma after a friend's name. What other punctuation marks should you generally, you don't have to do that, should you generally use with dear and a person's name when writing to a person you've never met? C colon. The colon. That's correct. He stole more than $10 million in 1920 by telling his victims their money was invested in international postal reply coupons. Identify this swindler whose name still describes any scheme. Yes, Edward. Ponzi. That is right. <laughs> And that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score. Well, Burlingame has 100, but Bentley with 180 is in the lead. <laughs> Panthers, you still have a chance because in the next round, the point values will double. Let's see what happens when we come back. Continue where we left off with the Extreme Lightning Round. Such a jockey name, and Extreme. We call it Extreme because the point values are doubled, but the play stays the same. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first question. After the American Revolution ended, the United States was run by a weak central government. Brett. Articles of Confederation. Yes, sir. The title role in the animated hit Shrek was voiced by a veteran of... Yes, Eric. Mike Myers. You got it. In statistics, it refers to the large group from which a random sample is usually selected. Yes, Dina. A sample size? No, I'm sorry. What term more generally refers to a collection of people living in a specific geographic area? Population. Population. You got it. A measure of the potential difference or voltage which appears across a plate for a given amount of charge. What electrical quantity is measured in farads? Dina. Capacity. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Charge? Amperes? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I can say something. Charge? Capacitance. Oh. They claimed that the successors to the throne were descended from Richard, Duke of this house. Who opposed... Yes, Eric. Earl? No, I'm sorry. Who opposed the Lancasters in the War of the Roses? York. York. Of the York. The House of York, that's right. In 1729, he modestly proposed that Irish children, yes. Jonathan Swift. That's right. Be eaten. I like to talk about that one. It is now generally curable by taking two antibiotics and Pepto-Bismol at the same time. Name the stomach ailment caused by the bacteria H. pylori, whose sufferers used to be told to drink lots of milk. Edward. Ulcers? That's right. A Swiss watch company as well as a symbol for ohms. What letter of the Greek alphabet is most often Edward? Omega. That's correct. Bergen and Trondheim are two of the larger cities in what European country whose capital is Oslo? Edward. Norway. You got it. It recently revised its count to approximately 20 to 25,000, 30% less than originally thought in the human body. What is this project that seeks to... Yes, Dina. Human Genome Project. You got it. Coined by biologist Ernst Haeckel in 1866, what is the term for the study of the relationship among organisms and their environment? Yes, Edward. Ecology. That's right. Claude Frollo, Phoebus de Chateaupère, and Esmeralda. Yes, Brett. Uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. These are all characters in what Victor Hugo novel? Hunchback of Notre Dame. That is right. Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers finally put an end to what NFL teams? Yes, New sir. England Patriots. You got it. 
When doing calculations with the equation PV equals NRT, pressure must be expressed in what units? Dina. Atmospheres. No, I'm sorry, that's not right. You can steal. <laughs> MMHG, millimeters of mercury. Mm. Millimeters of mercury? We're looking for Pascal's. Ah. In 1973, Allende was removed and Pinochet was installed as part of a... Yes, Eric? Chile. Chile, that's right. What is the only value of x that solves the equation x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals 0? Eric? 5. Right. He was fined $100 after he lost his case. Name the Tennessee biology teacher who got the fine for elite... Yes, Brett? Scopes. Right. The painting L-H-O-O-Q by 20th century artist Marcel Duchamp features the Mona Lisa wearing a what? A mustache. <laughs> Dereferencing is the action of attaining the value that it refers to. What is this programming language data type that calls another value stored elsewhere in a computer's memory? Pointer. Dodger Stadium was for a few years referred to as Chavez Ravine with what team that later moved to Orange County played? Yes, Brett. Angels. That's right, the Anaheim, the Anaheim Angels. Though he probably murdered plenty of people, what 1920s Chicago gangster was finally sent to prison for tax? Yes, Brett. Al Capone. Right. Oh, that signals the end of the game. Let's look. Berlin game has 220, and with 400 points, Bentley wins the game. <laughs> We got to go. You were a great team. You guys will be back next time around. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. The following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC. The San Mateo Credit Union. Wells Fargo. And Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers and the Berlin Game Scottish Rite of Freemasonry.